Printer Amos Paul Kennedy Jr. has made seven letterpress cards to honor the seven sit-ins that took place in Arlington, Virginia between June 9th and June 22nd, 1960. Each card is printed with a different quote by a participant or community member who was involved in those protests. In this video, you can listen to an audio clip of one of those community members. Arlington resident Joan Trumpower Mulholland is a civil rights activist and educator who has dedicated her life to taking a stand against racial injustice. She recently won a James B. Hunter Human Rights Award presented by Arlington County. In this interview, she talks about her part in the Arlington lunch counter sit-ins of 1960, which led to the desegregation of lunch counters across Arlington, Virginia, just 13 days later. There was a visiting minister, I think, could have been a lawyer, but I think a minister from South Africa. He was trying to get out the word of what was happening under apartheid and get support for the overthrow of apartheid. And there was an off-campus meeting in the basement of the church, I don't know, the Presbyterian, I'm not sure, and just a handful of us were invited to come hear him. It was not a big thing, and I was in that, and I was just impressed, I guess, the international aspect and the church working against injustice on me. I mean, to me, this whole concept that if Jesus made us all, and we're all the children of God, and as much as you do it unto one of the least of these, my brethren, you've done it unto me, and mm -hmm. love thy neighbor as thyself, all these things, and then we're going to have segregation and talk about folks with bad words, lynchings, and this whole double standard just went against, to me, completely the teachings of the church. And then there was the matter of at least the Declaration of Independence, they were not real strong on teaching all about the Constitution in Virginia high school was back at that point in history, but we had to memorize the Declaration of Independence. The words were, all men are created equal, didn't say anything about women, but we we'll take it men to mean people. So all of this, this, this conflict in my mind. And then the sit-in started in North Carolina in Greensboro on February 1st, 1960. And the second city I've heard to where the students started sitting in was um, in Durham. But a group of the students involved in sit-ins came over to one of our Sunday evening meetings. And it was exactly the same thing as in Arlington. Don't spread the word too widely, just people you think really might want to come. Mm. Um, the administration could lock us out of the building, the police could come, local segregation rallies could come. But the students, very neatly dressed as was the you know, time, jackets, well-spoken. People dressed up back then. Um, they presented their legal and moral rationale for the sit-ins, that if you were accepted in one part of the store as a welcomed customer, you should be accepted at all of the parts of the store, and, you know, morally, segregation was wrong from the teachings of Christianity. The um, student movement back there then was very um, church-based, and the leaders like, you know, Martin Luther King and all were churchmen. So they gave all of this and things were very nice and you know, question, you know, answered questions well and then said that they invited us to join them on the picket lines at the store. So my roommate and I did. Here along there was a sit-in or two and we were arrested. 